Hello my stars and galaxies, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. Today we are doing a collective reading, but before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you do not miss an upload for when I upload. Now, without further ado, let's get started. As usual, we're gonna draw five cards. Our first card says, the seas of Minaka, <laughs> the seas of Mintaka. See, seeing potential, right? Seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. So, someone you may know is trying to bring about some hidden potential they somehow see in you, whether it could be dancing or singing or painting, you know, it could be anything. So, that person sees some kind of hidden potential within you and they're trying to bring it out of you, whether they're, they're trying to put you through some kind of training program or they're trying to or they're just being kind of hard on you about that particular skill whatever it is they just want to bring about that potential because they see you have some raw talent in that skill whether it's cooking painting whatever the next card says we the haythors deep love mother's milk birth as a portal Okay, so someone, preferably someone on your maternal side, whether it be like your mom or your grandma, whatever, your aunt, they have a deep love for you to the point where they could be smothering you, right? They could, you could, they kind of spoil you. They kind of treat you like this little kid, regardless of how old you are. You know, they kind of still see you as this little kid that would always cry if you got a boo boo. You know, they still have, they love you so much that they still see you as someone that continuously relies on them. So now that you're at a certain age where you don't need them that need them as much anymore, they're still trying to hold on to you, cling on to you. That is what mother's milk does. Star brothers. Protection, loyalty, safety, trust. Okay. Now, as much as your someone on your maternal side smothers you, at least you know that you have their they, like you have their emotional support, their emotional and mental support, and also financial support. You know they have they have your back when you need it. They want to make sure you're safe. They always have. They always make sure that you know that you can trust them in whatever situation. You know, that you have a place to go to whenever you need something. That you can always turn to them if things get too rough for you, right? That's what that means. Whale and Orca Elders. Share your song. Frequency of sound. D diving deep. So, you're in a situation where you are in struggling and you're not... And now you're not exactly sure what to do. You're not exactly how to go about it and that's where your emotional support comes in your family whether it be your family member or your friend they have an experience to share with you they can they can give you advice they can share their song with you so you could have a better understanding or enlightenment on what to do in that situation seven star sisters birthing creations tapestry tapestry of life expression so i see for some of you that you are going to have a, some a child in the future whether you are pregnant or you got someone else pregnant and you do you probably don't know it yet or they've already told you and you're not sure of what to do you got that person pregnant and now you're trying to figure out what to do now yes you're going to be a parent but what do you do now? Like, how is this going to affect your future? How is this going to affect, your, affect you financially? What do you do now? You're not exactly sure what to do now. 
you're going to be a parent and that alone it can be stressful. We're gonna draw five more cards. And push these up aside. Now, our next card says, All paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. So you have to look inside yourself, okay? You can't, like, as far as having a good advice thrown around you, you have to look inside yourself, okay? You, all you can do is just be there for that child that's about to come into your life and use the parenting methods that were used against you the best you can okay like just just use you have to turn you have to look inside yourself and use your own knowledge okay you have to turn your gaze within okay you have to use your tuition all right you have to use whatever proper discipline method you think is best for when your child comes a certain age and starts to act out okay regardless of whatever the situation you have to use your own knowledge double mission serve the world by being you so it's time for you to stop hiding who you truly are okay because you know that you're a good person and now it's time for the world to see that okay it's time for you to not suppress your enthusiasm in public not suppress your energy you don't need to hide your emotions you know, be yourself. That's the only way you can actually be comfortable in your own skin. By being your true self. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Okay? So, in every situation, you have to walk before you crawl. This take... Don't think about the future. Don't really think about too far into the future. Okay? Just focus on the smaller things, like what needs to be done now in the present. Just follow your intuition before it makes sense, okay? You don't, if you know, if you have a strong belief on this is how it needs to go, this is how it needs to go, this is what I need to do, then do it. Don't think too hard about it, okay? Because then you're going to start to overthink, and that's, ne that's, over that's very negative. Starkeeper. See the light by staying grounded, okay? So no more time, so no more daydreaming. It's time to stay grounded and focus on what it needs to be done now, okay? You need to focus on the next steps, all right? Focus on what you need that focus on what needs to be done now. Focus on what is most important now. The cosmic heart devotion potency make your life a moving prayer so you need to stay devoted to this child okay with again whether you're pregnant or you got someone else pregnant you need to stay devoted to them because now both of them are your responsibility okay all right not now you're not just worrying about yourself anymore you're worrying about the future of this child that you have that's going to come in the next nine months okay you have to where you have to start doing what's best for them now okay now we're gonna draw five more cards this is very interesting though i think this is the first reading where a child has come up okay so this is very interesting to me very very interesting She's up the way and draw our last five cards. Okay. 
activated earth. Trust where you're led. So you have to trust yourself, okay? Whether or not you know that you're making the right choice, you have to trust your decision. You have to trust what you're doing, okay? You have a good intuition. You have a good head on your shoulders. Why not trust it? Why not let it do the thinking, okay? You have a good heart. Why not let it... Why not follow your heart and think with your head, okay? Why not follow your heart and just think smart? You know, you're a very smart person. You know, you're very reliable. You have like a, you have like a sixth sense about what's right and what's wrong, what you need to do, what's most important. Like you have a good head on your shoulders. If you, fo if you listen to your head and follow your heart, you definitely will do right. Your life is a canvas. Artist, manifestation, creative accountability. So never forget. So as far as being practical is concerned, you are practical, but you also got to keep in mind about the creative thinking. You also got to keep in mind of thinking outside the box, all right? And remembering that your actions have consequences. We only have one life. So we. So as much as we need to live to the fullest, we also have to acknowledge that every action we take does have consequences, whether it's positive or negative. Our life is a canvas, and your actions are the paintbrush. Next card says, force, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the lead leader you wish you had. So I see that you never really had some kind of a father a part like a like a, a reliable father figure okay whether whether or not you had a father and he passed away or he left like he walked out on you and your mom and you never really had like a reliable father figure or a leader that you wish you had okay like someone to show you what to do to throw to throw in some good advice you know what i'm saying say you have to try to be the leader you wish you had so if you wish you had someone strong and reliable be a strong and reliable person okay whoever wasn't there for you show them how it's done empathic star seed absorbing what's not yours okay you're absorbing of of what it like what if problems okay like what if this goes wrong what if this ruins my career what if this destroys my body and mental my mentality what if this destroys my relationship what i have with my friends what if this destroys our relationship like you're absorbing what's not yours okay these are what ifs regardless of whether or not they happen you as a person are still going to be fine and so is your child okay that you're absorbing what's not yours you don't need to worry about what ifs right now just focus on what needs to be done in the present in our last card says you're not for everyone embrace your weirdness face your true north so you're a very interesting character you're a very unique person and you do things differently than not many other people would do so but that doesn't matter if they would do it or not what is important is that you break you embrace your differences and hopefully you'll encourage that same state of thinking onto your child to embrace their weirdness if they have any okay to embrace being different from what everyone else this was a very very interesting reading y'all this is the first thing again this is the first time a child has ever came up in my readings so this is a very interesting um, for if this did not res resonate with you at all it's okay and i apologize hopefully the next one will but in the meantime, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 and subscribe. And hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload, all right? And, me and a quick message to the people who have a child coming on. You're going to be fine, okay? This is a message to any pregnant women out there or a guy that got a girl pregnant, right? I just feel like I have to just say a quick message. You're going to do fine, all right? Trust your partner. Trust your intuition, trust yourself, and you'll be fine. This has been the Universe Terror. Namaste.